Okay, now we are on the final exercise for the day. And I actually need to adjust this uh, before we get into it. It's a little bit, there we go. All right, this is called the four-way neck machine. And it has a specific, very specific purpose to it, okay? It is designed to isolate your neck muscles, especially your traps, okay? Uh, it is designed to work them so that they reach muscle failure, uh, which can be otherwise difficult to do. Now, not a lot of people specifically work their muscles of their neck, okay? Because as I said before, doing, trap, uh, doing deadlifts will work your traps anyway. And a lot of people do power lifting, so they're already doing movements like shrugs to strengthen their, uh, their trap for being able to do you know, deadlifts. Um, but if you're doing other types of sports or you're a bodybuilder, you might wanna use something like this because you can uh, not have to do yet another sort of deadlift variation, which is what a power shrug you know, is. Not having to you know, continue to use your arms to try to stabilize the weight and hold it for you, you can instead isolate your neck's muscles this way, okay? And uh, it just works a little bit better for my routine. Also, uh, if you wanna reduce chance of concussions, let's say you play sports, uh, contact sports that often get hit, you know, hit in the head, you're playing football, you're wrestling, you're playing, uh, doing historical fencing, okay? You're boxing, uh, kickboxing, even playing uh, softball or baseball, right? You can get hit in the head, basketball even. Having a strong neck, okay, will reduce the chance of getting a concussion because when you have a strong neck and you meet force, you, you are able to keep your neck into a firmer position uh, and that reduces the chance of suffering from a concussion when you get hit hard in the head by having these strong neck muscles. So I like to develop the neck. Also, it just looks really hot, you know. Girls see you in a t-shirt and you got a thick ass neck. You look yoked as fuck, okay? Let's be honest. That's the reason why most people do bodybuilding is to pick up babes, right? More plates, more dates, okay? So that's your goal, you know, one of my goals. Um, this is a great thing to be doing because you're gonna get the most bang for your buck having a physique walking around when you have a strong upper body, upper broad edge, nice broad shoulders, nice thick neck, okay? That's gonna show to people that you have high level of fitness, even if you don't have your shirt, if you, even if your shirt is on. So four-way neck machine, the way that you use it is actually pretty straightforward, right? You're gonna put the weight stack in a comfortable way where it's challenging, but not impossible, okay? And I'm gonna put this at uh, uh, 30, 30, 35 probably is better, okay? There's not a lot of weight on this one, to be honest, which is why I have the gym pin it lets me add additional plates to the stack. This is, uses Kevlar belt, which can handle a lot more poundage than just 80 pounds, which is, no, excuse me, 50 pounds, which is the maximum on this. But you're gonna line it up so that your forehead, you know, right above the uh, bridge of your eyes, really, you wanna use your forehead to pull it down. You wanna isolate your neck. The only reason you have this here is not so that you're gripping tight and you're pulling down with your body, this is just to, to give you guidance on where to place your hands and your shoulders. And you're going to pull down with your neck. Actually, I need to put this up a little bit higher because I am a short, short person. Okay. Your goal is just to use your neck muscles. Right? And you don't let the selectorized weight stack go. Go all the way to the top. Don't drop the weight. Pull back down. And you should be using your forehead to do the motion, and that will use your traps. Hopefully I'm not mumbling my words while I'm saying that, okay? You're using your forehead to pull down, and uh, you're not trying to use your chest. You're not trying to pull yourself to it. You're trying to just move your head down like this, okay? Just use those neck muscles. Okay, so that's the forward motion, okay? You're gonna do that four times, four, four sets, all right? Back of the head. 
To do the back of the head, you have to adjust this a little bit. I sometimes am lazy and I don't adjust to the forward position. All right, this just gives you a little bit more back stability here. And you're gonna find, if you already have strong traps from deadlifting, you're already used to this movement, you're gonna find that's really easy to move your head back this way. You might have to add more plates on there, but for demonstration purposes, okay? Just moving it back. You're just sort of, you know, nodding your head back a little bit. And it's not a complicated exercise, all right? Okay. Now we're gonna do side to side. And the way this works is that we're gonna aim ourselves this direction, okay? And we're going to lean, try to lean our head to touch our shoulder without actually moving our shoulder. All right, just using the head, having consistent resistance against that neck muscle on the side, bringing it all the way down without bringing our shoulder up. And then for the other side of the neck, we just turn around like so, and we do the opposite of what we just did. Okay, that's 12. So. That's how you use the four-way neck machine, okay? And again, this is what I like to do. You know, not everybody has to do this. This is kind of a long session. My back day is really more than just the back because I'm using these compound movements like the deadlift that end up working your core, ends up working your traps, okay? Since I'm already working my core, I'm gonna do something for the core. Since I'm already working my traps, um, my neck, I'm gonna start working my neck, right? At the end of my session. So that's what I like to do. Not everybody likes to do it, okay? does keep you in the gym a little bit longer, but I find just get this shit out of the way on the same day so that I can focus on a different, you know, muscle group the next day. All right, guys, hope that you found this to be useful, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video I make for this channel. Thanks.